All right, g'day YouTube, it's MK Bricks. I am back again, late as usual, so sorry to disappoint. But hopefully you all can forgive me because I've got something, uh, something kind of special for everybody today. I've got my entire Lego Fallout build um, assembled. It's lit. It's it's finished basically, minus a couple little lighting elements. But while it was in this shape, uh, I thought I'd give you a, a tour, a complete walkthrough. I will have this on display at the Sydney Brick Show next month on the uh, the start of April. I know most of you guys out there are probably international and you and you can't get there, so this is for you. I don't want you to all miss out. Um I will yeah, I'll give you a total walkthrough, top to bottom, left to right. It'll give you a sort of a sense of scale and a, and a sense of where things are and why and why they why they're built the way they are. So hopefully you guys appreciate it. Um be patient with me. I'm just I'm recording off my off my camera, so I'll hold it as, as steady as I can for you all. Alright, we'll kick it off here on the left hand side. Let's go underground. Ooh. Alright, this first little part is the cave system. Well part of the cave system. That leads to the vault. Uh these prospectors here, they've taken a wrong turn and uh yeah, they've walked into this Maya Lurk nest, and uh, yeah, so they're not going to be having a good time. Underneath that, we have the real vault entrance. As you can see there. R2 and uh, C3PO, they're a little lost. I think they're in the, uh, I think they're in the wrong display. I'll get in down here. You can't really see it, but anyway, Benny is in there. He's uh he's travelled back through time and he's ended up in the wrong place, I'd say. I have thrown a few little Easter eggs in around the place. Like, yeah. The droids there for one. Coming back to the top here we have the reactor room. I need to get a uh, flicker effect board for those for those reactors. Give it like a sort of crackling electricity look. So that's something I still need to do. I've got a few hazmat men there. Seems to be a bit of a uh, bit of radiation coming down. I have my sig fig living quarters. Mister Handy up the back there. There's my little bedroom and my cat. Underneath that we have the uh, the inside of the vault entrance. Another hazmat guy and a another lone wanderer sent out to his death. Great stuff. There's Benny's crashed crashed spacecraft from the future. So he exited the vehicle, crawled into a cave, and yeah, he didn't make it. And we have a couple buried fossils, you know, the clam and triceratops fossil. Yeah, um, don't comment on the ugly carpet, please. It's not my decision. <laughs> it's not my house, so I don't have a say in the matter. I'll keep this uh, camera steady as I can. So we pan out there, you can see. Okay, so from the entrance, it moves into the atrium. So it all sort of flows, everything has has a place and a purpose. So we have the atrium there. There's a corridor that leads to the... to these rooms down here. That corridor doesn't actually go anywhere, it's just sort of a little... It's a dead end, but it just sort of gives a, the look and feel of more depth to the whole build, I reckon. There's a barber shop up the back in there. You know, I fully decked out that barber shop, and you can barely see anything in there. But look, I didn't really want to take shortcuts on this build and just go sort of half measures on it. So it's done. Uh, we have a reactor there. Generator, sorry. 
you know, best place for fusion cores. We've got the big center tree. Um, sorry, my finger's in the way there. Everyone on Instagram seemed to have really enjoyed the, the techniques I used for the tree. You can see I wrapped it in the brown chain. Had to buy those specifically for that build. You have a little bit of an Adam and Eve reference there. Uh, look, not really religious, but once we got that new python with the uh, Harry Potter CMFs, I thought, uh, why not? I'll throw another little funny in there. Uh, a little bit of bit of maintenance work there. Supervisors kind of not happy. This bloke has no idea what he's doing. Must be new on the job. You can see on the uh, how I got that slanted side for the atrium. It looks harder, and I thought I would have more trouble than I did with it, but it worked out really well, and it's really solid. So props to me, I guess. No, I'm I'm just kidding. Don't give myself a big head, but yeah, no, it worked out great in the end. Uh, Benny's got a job inside the vault now. Everything is awesome. Well, for him anyway, because he's living in here. Doesn't have to face the horrors of the wasteland. Guys, I know this video is going to be a little bit shaky, so bear with me. So then from there, the atrium... Actually, the overseer has a view out into the atrium, much like my living quarters. So we've got those, uh, you know, million dollar views. So back up to the top here, we've got the lab, another hazmat guy, um, escaped mylurk, some uh, ghoul specimens. Some people are going to get eaten and uh, gooped on, so yeah. Wouldn't want to be those guys. The overseer's office. I've already done a tour of this module. The lights are getting a bit dim, so I have to change the battery soon on a couple of these. Uh, couple of these modules. We've just got a connecting corridor that just leads from the atrium, and it goes all the way through to the cafeteria there. Classroom down the bottom. We have the armory. Sorry guys, this is really hard to film just hand holding this phone. We've got Scruffy the janitor in his uh his little living quarters there. Another connecting corridor that just goes nowhere. And that was just a little face bill uh face space filler, but it worked out pretty well. We've got the uh the men's dorm. So it's sort of a bit of chow time. We've got laundry man over there. Just lots of bunk beds. These guys don't have the uh, million dollar fuse or the the, uh, the deluxe suite. So too bad for them. We've got the uh, the cryo room. There's a couple little Easter eggs in here. I've got that reflection will go away. I've got uh, Fry from Futurama, and we've got the Winter Soldier, and just a couple generic frozen people, little. Popsicles. And then coming around to the side here, there's not too much light, but I have the act the fallout mosaic. That you can see there. Sorry about the lighting guys, it's it doesn't really show up the colour of the lettering, but in light it just it turned out really well. So that just sort of caps off the uh that caps off that right side there as you can see. Now we'll come to the top. Got the red rocket, that has, just has some fl uh, flicker effect in there. I've done a full video or two of that, and I've had the red rocket on display a couple times actually, and people really enjoyed it, so hopefully they enjoy the entirety of the build. So we pan across, like I said guys, with the red rocket, if you want to see any of the um, smaller details, there is a full video of that. More wasteland. We've just got the long and lonely road, caravan guard, raider camp. They're in there just, you know, shooting up psycho, love and life. And we just have some, uh, some train tracks there. 
Another one of my sig figs up the back with his eye bot. He looks a little bit too happy and clean for the wasteland. And then we have the uh, the illegal dumping ground of uh, chemical waste and some tentacle mutant creature in there. So, after a year and a half, basically, this is what you get. A humongous build and an empty wallet. Well, yeah, kind of. Surprisingly, the, uh, I didn't have to spend much money on the Red Rocket. I had most of the pieces in my collection, which was, which was a breath of fresh air, because it's the first time ever, I think. So, I re really hope you guys enjoyed it. A couple of the rooms, like I said, do need, um, lighting effects, like flicker, flicker effects for a couple little parts, and, and it'll be done, so... For all of you that live in Sydney, I hope you get down there next month to come and check this thing out in person. And for everyone who can't, I hope this has been sort of insightful. Um, and before anyone asks, no, I'm not breaking this down because I've probably bought too many specific parts that I did need for this thing, so it would just be a waste. And after all this time, I don't think I could... Uh, I don't think I could break it down and go through that process of part sorting. I think I would rather just give up the hobby entirely. So, anyway guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you next time. I have started more builds and run out of parts again. So, anyway, I'll do my best. Stick with me guys. Throw me a sub. Throw a like up. And I appreciate the support. See you guys all next time. Bye.